Now, let's say you are out there and you're looking forward into making 1,500 each and every day, but you do not have that appropriate or right formula for you to exactly do that. Because this is some of the texts I actually receive in boxes and people are telling me, hey, Joseph, what exactly can I do so that at least I'll be able to, you know, pay my bills and do all those kind of things, all right? So the formula that I'm about to share with you is not only applicable for making 1,500, but you can actually make as more as you can. And by the way, if you've never even watched my video, this is your first time, consider this. This is type of the videos that I actually post each and every day, all right? So if you don't want to miss any of my good videos, this is what you do. And by the way, it doesn't cost you anything. Down below there, there is a small button written subscribe. It is in black. Hit that magical button and like this video. Imagine I'm sharing all this information for, for free. I ain't charging you nothing. So why don't you do that, all right? Then comment down below, all right? Let's get into the business, okay? Now... This is what I want you to understand. You see, I, I know you're here and you just want mechanical things like fanya ibi, fanya ibi. No, 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 no. Let me just share with you a formula that you'll never forget about it, okay? Now, the very first thing that you're supposed to do is to do what? Is to understand your numbers and target. I know you want to make 1,500 each and every day. A day is made up of 24 hours. And the amount of money that you want to make is 1,500. Now, here you have 24 hours to do exactly that, assuming that you ain't gonna sleep, okay? But anyway, that's not practical. The point is this, you're aiming to get 1,500. This is what you do it. Now, this number is you can either decide to do one thing, you can either decide to target one individual, solve their problem, because at the end of the day, we usually get money after solving someone's problem. Ain't nobody gonna give you just any money. And I know you're thinking about online, even online. Nobody's giving people free money out there. You have to solve someone's problem, okay? Now, you can either decide to pick one individual, solve the entire problem, you're done. You have your 1,500 inside of your pocket. And what can you be able to do? You can be employed daily. Maybe you are a fundi. Maybe you are a mason. You're your... Whatever it is, we have some a lot of websites here in this uh, online platform that can actually or can actually purely pay each and every day. So the point is this: pick one person. First of all, we understand. Before we go to exactly now, let's understand the numbers. First of all, you can pick one individual, get the fifteen hundred. You're done. Close the day. Right? Two options. You can actually decide go pick like three people. Okay? Pick like three people. Each one of them give them gives you five hundred. You get your fifteen hundred. Pick like ten. Uh, pick like five people. Each of them gives you three hundred. You get your what? Fifteen hundred. Right? You can either decide to pick ten people. Each gives you one hundred and fifty Kenyan shillings. You get the money. When I say each gives you, I mean you can pick a product that you're selling one hundred and fifty Kenyan shillings, and you get yourself fifteen hundred. You can pick a product that you sell to one individual. You get yourself what? An entire fifteen hundred. You can pick a product that you're selling for three hundred. Then you're targeting only five people. You get your fifteen hundred. You can pick something like your something like you're selling. Uh, you can pick like uh, hey, guess what? I'm t today. I'm targeting a hundred people. Just a hundred people. And that product, I'm only selling fifteen shillings. These are people who usually sell things like coffee. These are the people who usually hoax eggs. These are the people who sell fruits. These are the people. These things. This number actually. The more you actually, you know, I always tell people. The more you subdivide your number, the more you target larger group of people, the lesser the amount of money that you require to sell that item. Can you imagine if you're targeting only 100 people, you'll be required to find a product that you can sell for only 15 shillings and then you have your magic of 1500. I know what you're thinking right now and you're about to comment. Just if it is easier said than done. I did not say it is easier done than said. No. Everything requires effort. That's for a fact. All right. Now, this is the point. Now, after understanding the appropriate that fits for you, then after understanding the numbers appropriately, then what do you do next? You don't stand here because I know up to now, yet, Joseph, you have not given me a way of how can we both make 1500. What I was doing is to explain the numbers for you to understand. Now, this procedure is what now helps you to decide which one you'll go for. Now, what do you do? The second point, reflect that to your surroundings. Now you ask yourself, this money is not in your pocket. This money is in people's pocket. Now how do I how do you get it out of their pocket to your pocket? I repeat my point. Now this number is not in your pocket. Now how do you get it? It's from people's pocket. Now how do you get it from their pockets to your pocket? Now what defines that is your surrounding. My surrounding is not your surrounding is not anyone's surrounding. Probably you're watching this video from a town or a city or an up country, whatever the place. Now you ask yourself, now, what exactly do I do? What is the problem that is surrounding my community that I can be able to do? When I say a problem, I mean opportunity. Don't see it as a problem. See it as an opportunity. So you can be like, okay, where have I come from 
people don't have enough vegetables and guess what i know somewhere i can be able to get some vegetables obviously at a good price and again resell them to people and i can be able to target only i can sell at a bunch of 15 shillings each bunch that i'm selling and how about i work on getting the 100 guys guess what i'm getting i'm gonna get at the end of the day what 1500 now you say like okay where i come from most of the people usually use charcoal to cook okay i can be able to target and get at least two or three bags from a certain place and then i resell this charcoal to people all right now then it means from any every can that i'm making i'm gonna at least make like let's say seven shillings or ten shillings then i'm required to sell a certain number of cans then i'll be able to make my what 1500 kenyan shillings ah where i've come from actually is in town these people they do not have enough milk and if they do there is a supplies a certain place the guy sells milk and that guy actually does not open in time and we usually walk a longer distance to get that how about i only find like two mitungis let's say you don't have a lot of money to do exactly that i can even get like one mitungi or two mitungis of milk and i can be able to target a certain spot and be standing there and i make each and every liter i'm selling probably i'm targeting to make let's say 10 shillings okay and then therefore it means i'm required to sell that amount of whatever to 150 people and i'll be able to make that 1500 kenyan shillings again you see what i'm doing you actually look your surroundings and you ask yourself are these specific surroundings that i come from what can i exactly do so that at least i'll be able to make some cash at the end of the day you might realize where you come from you usually have a lot of people who work in offices and these people they usually walk a quite a longer distance from where they usually go to lunch because the surrounding places where they can be able to eat is a bit expensive and these people do not have people who can actually supply them with food and the comforts of their how of their offices now what do you do you can actually decide to use some couple of shillings that you have prepare a very nice meal at your home package them and then try to inquire and ask them hey you know what guys today i'm giving these free samples and i i do cooking and by the way if you can give me a nod then i can be able to be supplying you with food this is my test this is my sample this is what i exactly do you talk to yourself if you just sit at the comfortable of your bed sitter complaining doing nothing nobody knows you for example, can you imagine this? If I wasn't making these videos, I was just at my comfort zone doing my own things. Probably you never know somebody by the name Good Joseph existed. But what I did, I did beat my comfort. I decided to start before the camera and decided to make these videos. That's why you always come to watch my videos. So what do I mean? Don't complicate the process. The process is very simple. Don't sit at the comfortable of your house. Decide to get out, speak to yourself. And I mean, speak to people, let the people know, understand and know exactly what you do. Then from there, do your things. There was a certain lady who was selling food, the offices. He was even, she was even selling the snacks and what have you. You can decide to, she was actually blending all the fruits and what have you from the comfort of the, her house. She isn't, she isn't paying any tax, she isn't paying any rent, she isn't paying any nothing. And she was making some cash. Well, well, not, maybe not enough to buy her house and what have you but guess what her bills were being paid there's some people actually they realize that i saw those uh, a group of free ladies they are walking into people's homes let's say you're a bachelor out there you hate cooking you hate washing and what have you these are guys who come to your home let's say you want to eat chapatis and you're a man you don't know how to make these chapatis they show up to your place they tell you hey you know what we are good at cooking we usually cook we can come to your places or your your home and then we can be able to make this meal in your presence obviously because i know you may not trust us in terms of you giving us keys and what have you you go to their places prepare them a very nice meal wash their you know uh, you can do wash um, their, their their utensils you can clean the homes and what have you wipe the whatever i mean seriously let me tell you one thing kenyans honestly we need to be creative we need to have what we call the ingenuity out there otherwise if you remain and you're comfortable with your house you're gonna get yourself into lots of problems. Probably you're watching this video, you have the skills about, you know, catering. You have skills about, you know, um, you, you went out there, you, for God's sake, you have something that out there, but you're waiting to be employed. Get that employment mentality out of yourself. If it comes on the way, well and good, it's amazing. Okay, don't regret getting those papers. At Asisi to Lipata, those papers, meaning even me, I also graduated and I do have those papers, but well it is what it is all right now that is exactly what you do for you to make any amount of money that you're looking out there the money that you are looking is not in a complicated process it is where you are right now okay now you can see i've written here skill and unskilled now the other thing you ask yourself is this fine i've identified my number 
and I've actually identified what we call the surroundings. Now, what do I do? See, I tailor a specific solution that will make that cash. I repeat, I tailor a specific solution that will make that cash. Now, let me ask a question. Where you live, there is, there is usually that fund that usually take your shoes whenever their shoes goes bad. You know, that guy repairs your shoe. Why do you think that guy came to that specific place, opened that shoe repair, and actually is doing exactly that, or she's doing exactly that? Why do you think if you go to town, there are people who have some places where they sit with polish and what have you, they shine your shoes? Why? Because they identified a gap that they come and fill and they usually have a target. There is a lady who usually, by the way, if you guys watch TikToks and what have you, there is a lady who actually does the shoe shining at the middle of the night in Nairobi. Sure, if you go open up your TikTok at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you find she's doing exactly that at the midnight. When you guys, you are asleep, complaining, there are no jobs, they are not nothing, she's out there shining people's shoes others are selling coffee others are doing that but now as we speak there's someone who is looking for only a thousand bob just a thousand bob that money is enough to buy him uh, you know some coffees you know uh, you know be able to boil the water and do the the coffee thing make some mandazis and what have you early in the morning he is out there especially right now when we are having a very chilly weather they're selling their coffees and they're making some cash all right. Right now, as we speak, there are some wonderful ladies somewhere. Uh, they're actually looking for only 400 Kenyan shillings or 200 Kenyan shillings to go buy fruits, you know, slice the fruits and what have you. Get them some cans and walk around and sell these fruits. They ain't going to make something today. There's a reality. Right now, there is somebody who is looking for at least 500 shillings. Show us up to the food or shows up to that market of viewers, wherever you come from. They buy some cassavas and what have you. They boil, they deep fry them, and then they walk around selling to people. You know, you know what happens, and this is, I usually have a problem with guys who are graduates, because they feel, they, they, they come on board with a lot of entitlement, and they, they feel because they have degrees, they ought to be doing greater things. It is true, you ought to be doing the, but are they present as of now? They are, but they are limited, that's why you've not gotten the opportunity. Do that what you can see, or you can achieve, or what is available before you get that what you want out there. By the way, how many businesses have I said, or how many things have I said uh, that can make you 1,500? Way close to 10 I've shared with you, all right? Now, on this matter of skills and unskilled, this is what you do. You ask yourself, okay, fine. Joseph, I want to make that 1,500, but I obviously I'm not skilled, or I am skilled. Now, you ask yourself, that skills that you have, can it make you 1,500? For example, let me ask a question. You are an econ, econ statistics graduate. You are an actuarial science graduate and you want to make 1500 because obviously you are not employed and what have you. Now you ask yourself now, how can I use the skills that I have, the actuarial and what have you, to make the 1500? So if the answer is no, swallow that, accept. Swallow your ego, accept. Hey, the skills that I have right now, I cannot be able to make that amount of money. So what exactly do I do? Do I consider myself an unskilled or what? No, I have to pick something that can actually be able to make me something. Even if it means you going back to the foot and learning something new. I remember when I graduated, I had no jobs. And I realized the course that I did obviously cannot employ me and a rather other particular point cannot be able to pay my tomorrow's bill. You know, there is tomorrow's bill and there is 10 years times bill. So the tomorrow's bill cannot be paid by the papers that I have. So what did I do? I decided to join hands with guys who are doing some interior design sort of a things, paintings, if I, if I may use a very simple word, paintings. And I said, hey, guess what? I have no skills, but I'm going to give them a call. Tomorrow morning, they pick me up. Even if I be the handyman, you know, in Kenya, we call them to a corner. I be the handyman, be there out there. I'm going to make at least 500 Kenyan shillings. And guess what? My tomorrow's bill will be paid. That is exactly, I always tell people, that is the genesis of actually transforming your life. That's very true. If you can be able to pay the tomorrow's bill, at least you're going to be at a stability of the mind. You can be able to think clearly. You can be able to tap many opportunities as they come. If you are unskilled, then look for a thing that you can be able to do. Skill yourself or get the skills because at the end of the day, nobody, you cannot be able to make some money without the skills. Never, let nobody lie to you at, oh, there's some unskilled worker. There's nothing like being unskilled worker. You ought to have some skills that you possess for you to make some cash, all right? And guess what? That marks the end of me, or rather the end of, not really me, oh, come on. That marks the end of this specific video, but not the end of me posting a video each and every time, okay? I, think, I, mean, I mean, that's what I wanted to say, okay? Now, those are the things that you can utilize, and guess what? 
Number D, repeat the process. Do exactly that what you found is appropriate for you. And at the end of the day, if you got the message, I know some of you got my message and some of you are still saying, hey, I thought you're going to give us like, you know, specific solution how I can be able to make 15. But anyway, you have just talked and talked and talked. For those who are smart, they have already seen the message. For the others, just hang around, right? Don't forget to like this video and see you in the next one. And by the way, don't forget as well, my number is on the description of this specific video. Get it. Give me a call. Let's conversate. I surely offer those services pertaining to investment, making money, and all those kind of things. Obviously, at a cup of coffee's price. I do also have booklets about investment. Copy goes for 280. See you in the next one.